Hello everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the third video on how to do Nexus API automation using Python. In this video, we will see how to handle some of the Python exceptions while initiating API connection to Nexus device. In the previous video, we have seen what is JSON RPC, some basics about JSON RPC and how to write a basic Python script to initiate API connection to Nexus using JSON RPC. We have one more method available here. It is Cisco's native JSON and XML format, which is having more capabilities than JSON RPC. And this gives better command handling and responses. We will look into that in the later videos. Here we will focus on JSON RPC. And even we have seen some of the error actions which is supported in JSON RPC in the previous video. I'll be adding previous video link in the description and notification so here i'll run this script once the previous script i'll give the correct credential so i'm connecting to 0 0.201 the device ip and i'm just printing output in json format so here i'm just sending the configuration Let me try running this. So it is getting executed properly. You can see here first two commands are successful. And here I am giving one invalid command. So the third command is invalid. That is why I am getting 500 error. If I remove that. and run this script this will get executed properly you can see the response it is 200 first here I'll try giving an IP which is not reachable I'll try running this and I'm getting Python exception saying no route to host and same way I'll change this to the Nexus device IP and I'll give wrong credential. So again, we are getting Python exception. Since we are printing the error code, we are getting 401 unauthorized here. So we are printing even the response status code. So we'll try to handle some of these kind of use cases. And if you want to see some of the error codes in NX API, you can refer this documentation. Here you can see all the error codes. And we'll look into the rollback error and some of the 400 and 401 errors. So to handle that, so error is happening here after initiating API connection. So we will introduce a try here try and accept method so I'll give a try and here we will even print the response status code and we are assuming that if response is 200 it is success so we can write a condition here if response dot there will be multiple ways to handle this. This is one method not equal to 200. I will raise an exception here. And I'll put a formatted string. And inside formatted string, I'll print the response status code response dot status code and in the next line we will print even the message what we are receiving so we will print in a text format because when we try to convert that into json we will get error so we are just printing it in a text format
and here we can print we can remove this variable and we'll directly print it response dot json and after that we need to give accept exception so this will get all these exceptions here below and here we'll do a print exception occurred with so here we will call that as e and we'll try to print the error here so this will try to print the same message now we will try to run this script first we will try running to we will try with the authentication failure scenario so now here we are receiving 401 and the entire message because we are printing this as text here if you want to suppress this message you can do that as well from here and same way we will try with unreachable device we will give 200 so I am getting another exception no route to host and we will try changing this as well ok now we will try executing this on the device 201 with proper credentials so this is getting executed now we will try adding some error the rollback error now we are getting the entire message and you can see the response from nexus command not run due to previous failure and error code is 500 you can refer the code from here so 500 is rollback error now we will replace this rollback on error with continue on error so I am just searching for rollback on error and I will replace everything with continue on error now we will try running this this time we have received error 400 so you can see the equivalent 400 errors also here so input CLA command error CLA execution error in the next video we will see how to initiate this JSON RPC connection from postman I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to handle some of the basic exceptions in python while initiating api to nexus thanks for watching see you in the next video